we're ever going to see regarding the existence of Planet X Nibiru, a red brown dwarf, a red ga gas giant, a star, a planet that's here right now, and it's very fast moving. I took a video of the moon in San Jose, California. I believe that's actually on the San Jose Sunnyvale border, August 18th, 2016 at 845 Pacific Standard Time. It's like eight hours ago. You will see in this video, as my son and I witnessed, that it was almost black. Then it was red. Now you can see it's like a pink, orange. It'll turn orange and then yellow within about 15 to 20 minutes. I thought that was unusual because I don't believe it's smog. I'm a Planet X researcher. I did a video and asked if anybody had any footage around that time of the moon. And I have a picture of the object next to the moon and it is exactly the object that we've been seeing at night that Jeff P has on his videos. Look, I'm not trying to be emotional about this, but this is real. This is real. This is really happening. I don't know how to tell you to prepare other than here it comes. Repent. And that's it. And I'm going to leave it at that. You go do your own research on what that means to you personally. But I'm telling you to get yourself right with your higher power immediately. Here it comes. This is from Matthew Rogers. All right. Look at that. It turned the moon red. Kind of like Revelations. Not that I'm saying that happened right now. But you know the little thing where it says the friggin' moon turns to blood? Huh. Now we know what does it. This thing. What is it? That's not the sun. That's nighttime. All right. So. Give me a second. This is a problem. Look how it illuminates it red for just a few minutes when it goes by it. Since when did the sun do this at night? I thought the sun illuminated the whole sky. Get it? This is a scary picture with my footage. And to corroborate like that is really an issue. And it really is in favor of our argument of Planet X. Sorry. All right. It's an HD shot. UK, Matthew Rogers, it looks like he got it around the same time, UK time, it looks like it's really around the same time, but I want to make sure. Well, he says video last night, and you guys are about seven hours ahead of me? Yeah, I think we're on to something. All right, so sorry to be. I've got people emailing me all around the clock. And uh, yeah, it's because we're onto something. NASA, you're liars. Chris Potter, boom. Have a good day. Bye. <laughs> Woo. Something unexplained is happening in our nation's capital, and it has both Democrats and Republicans alarmed. A mysterious slime is defacing several memorials. It hit hard, it hit fast, it hit with an intensity we hadn't seen before. Those are the words of Fire Chief Mark Hartwig describing the wildfire in San Bernardino County, California. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're, well, we're certainly in a period right now where we've seen quite a, bit, quite a few extremes. And well, we've had some periods in the past where we've uh, had clustering of, of really big, uh, uh, you know, catastrophic rainfall events in the past as well. But I tell you, the last decade or so really uh, does raise some eyebrows and uh, very, very suspicious. And as what this means for you know, policy implications, uh, I mean, this is just so complex. The biggest thing was we had to continually retreat against that advancing wall of fire. And that was something that I haven't witnessed in this section uh, ever. And in my 40 years of fighting fire, I've never seen uh, fire behavior so extreme. Homes reduced to rubble, neighborhoods that look like war zones. Last month was the hottest ever since scientists have been keeping records. When they called the flooding in Louisiana a one in 500 year event, what does that effectively mean? That effectively means that you have a point 0.2 percent of that flood of that magnitude in that area occurring in any given year. But these numbers are losing their meaning. We've had eight 500-year events in just the last 12 months in the United States in six different states. So when you have eight Eight events that are supposed to happen only once in 500 years happen in 12 months. We have a problem. Well, from coast to coast, the temperatures have soared, with July being the hottest in recorded history, the 10th month in a row to break monthly temperature records. 
A black mass is spreading like a disease over the marble of Washington, D.C. Abraham Lincoln was the great emancipator, but so far, the National Park Service hasn't been able to free the 16th president's memorial from the slime. Between Tennessee and Ohio, on the, on the edge it sticks oh, right out, there, yeah. you see that real dark spot, and it's starting to creep downward a little bit. Litters says experts don't know where the biofilm came from or how to get rid of it. It's also now in Arlington National Cemetery and on the Washington Monument. But it's by far the worst at the Jefferson Memorial, where the White Dome is now covered in patches of black. Greg Moore can still remember the good times, knowing all too well times have changed. A historic spurt of overdoses. Good evening, I'm Tanner Hesterberg. We begin tonight with a developing story just across the border in Huntington. Emergency responders say they saw a wave of overdoses in a short time span unlike anything they've ever seen. Emergency on Skid Row, one after another, individuals collapsing. All of a sudden, um, this lady was on the ground with this phone coming out, was shaking. This security guard saw it happen at 5th and San Pedro. An hour later, another one fell down out there, and then the same thing started just shaking, and, you know. Like, like a seizure? Yeah. Another spike afternoon, more than 20 were transported, and cases kept coming. This newly released footage showing 33 people in Brooklyn transformed into zombies, revealing the true dangers of the growing abuse of synthetic marijuana, or K2. Tonight, we lift the lid on this nightmarish epidemic. Many people across the Hudson Valley don't even know exists. They are the walking dead. Look at them. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. They're like looking like zombies. I vomited all over myself. Teenagers transformed into vomit-hurling demons. <laughs> as a public health nightmare takes hold of the Hudson Valley. It's a devilish drug. Look at this. It looks like a war zone. This never-before-released body camera footage proves just how dangerous synthetic marijuana, or as it's better known, K2, can really be. No, this is not a scene from a movie. Don't scream and pass out. This is a real street corner in downtown White Plains. Man, did did hear no. And these are real kids in the throes of a K2 overdose, covered in vomit just a few weeks ago. Look, look, look at him. But for Commissioner David Chong. He normally talks, so this is out of character. Look at the way he's just sitting. None of this makes sense. There's, there's not one thing in this case that seems to make sense. Three people stabbed, two fatally, by a college student on a rampage in Martin County. It is a story that has now captured the attention of the nation. Officers say they arrived at the scene to find a husband and wife killed and the suspect biting the man's face. Martin County detectives say Haroff made animal noises as he bit off pieces of John Stevens' face. They said Haroff displayed such strength that dog bites and tasers didn't affect him. It took multiple officers to subdue him. The mother told police that her son had recently been acting delusional, saying he was immortal and claiming superpowers. Sheriff believes Haroof may have been under the influence of something, though his initial drug tests have come back negative. He says the 19-year-old was making animal-like noises and had enormous amount of strength. Not responding to a dog biting, not respond, responding to uh, repeated stuns from a taser, uh, taking three, three, four deputies, an officer, and a dog to get him off. That's somebody with a lot more strength than you would normally encounter. How the police had to come in, canine unit. That, this is all very dramatic stuff, very theatrical, very, you know, out there, almost movie-like. No movie, but a true horror. Unusual amount of trauma. We, we have some experienced detectives. One of my detectives on this case uh, worked homicides in New York and said it was a case uh, as bad as he's ever seen. Deborah Christian, clinical director at Spencer Recovery Center in St. Pete Beach, says many of the dangers associated with using these drugs are still a mystery. What does that do to your brain long term? Do we even know? We don't even know. Firefighters told to remove American flags from their fire trucks. The order came from the Fire Board of Commissioners in the town of Poughkeepsie. And the decision has a lot of people upset. They're seen here during a ceremony putting away the flags after they were ordered to remove them from the back of trucks. I was very disappointed when the board members that were against having the flags on the vehicles gave me the directive to have them removed. The removal order coming from the Fire Board of Commissioners, Joe Armstrong, who didn't want to talk to us, one of three who voted for the removal. Why can't you just tell us why you didn't vote, why you voted for the flag to be taken off? And one of the most prestigious Ivy League schools in the country has made a big change to its policies to make the school politically correct. The school says that all documents have to reflect that male and female are not the only two genders. There are no longer just men and women on these greens. When you get to Princeton this fall, you're not a freshman. You're now a first-year student. Our country wasn't founded by our forefathers, but by our ancestors. And mankind is gone. Now it's humanity. or just people. This seems like not relevant at all to educating kids, which is the point of Princeton, right? right? Well, of course. Uh, tr Princeton has traditionally been never, not conservative, but a little bit more traditional, not a hotbed of radicalism. But this is the inevitable logic of PC. This is where PC leads. This is where every higher education institution is going. This is where our public institutions are going. This is where the, eventually our administrators and others, they cave. Because the, the PC uh, diversity police, the multicultural police, right. the postmodern, secular, anti traditionalites, they win. And so they just came and say, okay, no more pronouns. No more human <laughs> <and her. laughs> No more pronouns. <laughs> 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 
We're looking at the transformation from foes to friends. Iran and Russia, once sworn enemies, now bosom buddies causing up to one another. It is the first time, in fact, that Iran uh, has allowed another state to use its military airfields since the Islamic Revolution in 1979. So for Iran, it's, it's a major step, uh, especially if you think that historically the relationship between I Iran and Russia has, has not been a particularly good one. Historically, they've been enemies. Clearly now, though, with the situation in, in Syria, they're coming very much closer together. The Turkish foreign minister claims his country is considering military cooperation with Russia as NATO seems to be shying away from relations with Ankara. Earlier this month, Turkey also suggested that Russia and Turkey carry out joint operations against ISIL in Syria. Turkey also says it is negotiating with Iran on a strategy in Syria. On Thursday, the Jewish press published an article titled, Moscow Calming Israeli American Fears of Russia-Turkey-Iran Coalition. Did you catch that? Just call me silly. <laughs> I've been called worse. Call me silly. But is that not exactly what Ezekiel 38 says? Quoting the press, Tuesday's meeting in St. Petersburg between the two former feuding foes, Russian President Putin and Turkish President Erdogan drew considerable attention. Government-run news agency TASS reported, noting that the Russian-Turkish rapprochement is coming while Russia has been expanding its relations with Iran and Ankara and Tehran have also been bridging the gaps between them, borne by almost four decades of a volatile Islamic Republic on Turkey's border. You know, it wasn't that long ago when we first started doing these prophecy updates back in 2006 that one of the unknowns was how is Turkey going to get and turn this corner so they're allied with Russia and Iran? Yeah. <laughs> we need to look no further than to what is happening now. Good morning, folks. It's Chris Potter. It is July 26, 2016. I have compiled three snippets of video that I feel are the most stunning video that we have to date of really two sons. No lens flare, no BS, no frakery, no trickery, no CGI Photoshop, no mirages, no flying cheese sandwiches, but the real thing. This is from December of 2015. Joe Grisanti, this channel on YouTube, I don't find it anymore. It doesn't matter because it clearly shows you the object of interest on the left and the sun on the right. And all three of these video are within the, the vicinity of December 2015, and all three distinctly show the object on the left and the sun on the right. So, kind of convincing, you know, just slightly. So the first two set of clips is from his webcam. That was affixed to the top of his home. There's no mirrors or glass that it's behind, etc. All right. And then I believe the third, I tried to speed up so you could see a little bit more quickly rays with the sun. Um, there's a lot of folks that are trolling me right now because of two suns. The thing that I put out about the squashed bug, spider, hairball, whatever on the lens, and the space slinkies, <laughs> the space caterpillars. Look, man. It seems like if I keep on topic with just Planet X stuff, I'm good with my channel, so I'll just stick to topic. Um... I pulled a couple videos, too, just because I don't need nonsense, whatever. But truly, look, I really am I'm at the point where I'm, I'm tired of the BS. You just need to see that this really is here, and I don't have any other convincing footage other than this to show you. And just take the information and do with it what you will. Okay, so yeah, this third one I'd sped up, and I just wanted to see if there's any weirdness that I could see. You know, maybe that it was edited or whatever, and I didn't see it was a constant flowing... Raising of the sun for both objects. I mean, now this is from Jeff P. This is from December of 2015, Sacramento, California. The objects were to be helion. Look, I don't know. It doesn't matter. There's something here that is not the moon. Since when did the moon look like the sun? It's yellow, man. I think if you were to look at the moon, star, or like what? You look at Stellarium in Sacramento for the moon at like what? I don't know what time in the morning, 7, 8 in the morning? You're not going to see it next to the sun like this. I challenge you to go look. Why do I know without looking? Because there's no friggin' way I've ever seen the moon look like that next to the sun. So, so we've got, it's a problem, you guys. This, this two sun thing is not going away, and there literally are hundreds of pictures out there on the internet. I particularly got trolled today 
that I supposedly am not proofing my pics and videos before I put them out to the public and supposedly it said, Chris, you're a dumbass, embedded in one of the pictures. Look, I looked at that picture with 35, I looked at that picture with 35 different filters and it doesn't have anything embedded in it. So the guy was just trying to piss me off. Yeah, he did a good job. You pissed me off. But you still can't get away from the two sun thing, buddy. So go drown yourself. Seriously, you're just a troll. This is the Melissa, Huff, the Melissa Huffman video. I believe it's like 10 months old now. Yeah, that's close to December of 2015 as well. Interesting. I actually think it's nine months. She has over a million views. I'll make sure to put the links below for the things that are available. Um, but the object is on the object is on the left. The sun is on the right, and all three, all three are from December of 2015. August 19th, 2016. It is roughly 4 a.m. This is one of the most significant videos you are ever going to see regarding the existence of Planet X Nibiru, a red brown dwarf, a red ga gas giant, a star, a planet that's here right now, and it's very fast moving. I took a video of the moon in San Jose, California. I believe that's actually on the San Jose Sunnyvale border, August 18th, 2016 at 845 Pacific Standard Time. It's like eight hours ago. You will see in this video, as my son and I witnessed, that it was almost black. Then it was red. Now you can see it's like a pink, orange. It'll turn orange and then yellow within about 15 to 20 minutes. I thought that was unusual because I don't believe it's smog. I'm a Planet X researcher. I did a video and asked if anybody had any footage around that time of the moon. And I have a picture of the object next to the moon and it is exactly the object that we've been seeing at night that Jeff P has on his videos. Look, I'm not trying to be emotional about this, but this is real. This is real. This is really happening. I don't know how to tell you to prepare other than here it comes, repent. And that's it. And I'm going to leave it at that. You go do your own research on what that means to you personally, but I'm telling you to get yourself right with your higher power immediately. Here it comes. This is from Matthew Rogers. All right, look at that. It turned the moon red, kind of like Revelations. Not that I'm saying that happened right now, but you know the little thing where it says the friggin' moon turns to blood? Huh, now we know what does it. This thing, what is it? That's not the sun, that's nighttime. All right, so... Give me a second. This is a problem. Look how it illuminates it red. For them, this is one of the most significant videos you are ever going to see regarding the existence of Planet X Nibiru, a red brown dwarf, a red ga gas giant, a star, a planet that's here right now, and it's very fast moving. I took a video of the moon in San Jose, California. I believe that's actually on the San Jose Sunnyvale border. August 18th, 2016 at 8.45 Pacific Standard Time. It's like eight hours ago. You will see in this video, as my son and I witnessed, that it was almost black. Then it was red. Now you can see it's like a pink, orange. It'll turn orange and then yellow within about 15 to 20 minutes. I thought that was unusual because I don't believe it's smog. I'm a Planet X researcher. I did a video and asked if anybody had any footage around that time of the moon. And I have a picture of the object next to the moon, and it is exactly the object that we've been seeing at night that Jeff P. has on his videos. Look, I'm not trying to be emotional about this, but this is real. This is real. This is really happening. I don't know how to tell you to prepare other than here it comes, repent. And that's it. And I'm going to leave it at that. You go do your own research on what that means to you personally. But I'm telling you to get yourself right with your higher power immediately. Here it comes. This is from Matthew Rogers. All right. Look at that. It turned the moon red. Kind of like Revelations. Not that I'm saying that happened right now. But you know the little thing where it says the friggin' moon turns to blood? Huh. Now we know what does it. This thing, what is it? That's not the sun, that's nighttime.
All right, so give me a second. This is a problem. Look how it illuminates it red for just a few minutes when it goes by it. Since when did the sun do this at night? I thought the sun illuminated the whole sky. Get it? This is a scary picture with my footage. And to corroborate like that is really an issue. It really is in favor of our argument of Planet X. Sorry. All right. It's an HD shot. 